Alright, well I'm back on War Thunder once again. And, uh, yeah, I normally don't show you guys uh, what, you know, you get from these packages, because I just don't, you know, I don't really like to do videos where I'm just constantly moaning about this game. Um, but, you know, I, I, yeah, I'm getting, getting kind of the opinion, or idea rather, that someone at Kaijin doesn't like me. Because, um, yeah, they, they tend to just uh, delete most of my videos, delete most of my posts, um, anything that, you know, goes against their idea of what should be posted basically gets removed. And, uh, yeah, I have no, um, no, uh, illusions that it's got anything to do with the fact that, or disillusions rather, that it's got anything to do with me doing videos that don't, you know, praise their game. So, let's see what crappy little reward I get this time, shall we? And by crappy, I mean, yes, it is really crappy, you will see. But I'm pretty sure. There we go, gold battles wager. Completely useless, really. Let me show you what, you know, my current bonus boxes look like. There we go. Ah, yeah, 10% is apparently worth nothing, <laughs> basically. It might as well. That's just a, another joke insult that they uh, have thrown in. And yeah, I've got these wages, but pff, yeah, not that bothered about doing them. Um, the rewards are pretty lame and pathetic, really, I have to say. Even the gold reward, you know, you have to do 20 stages in order to actually get a thousand gold. On their normal gold giveaway days, it's far less than that. But you know, guy Jim. And they've lowered the uh, reward, have they? No, they haven't actually, I don't think. So you can actually bet zero lions and you'll still win money. Yeah, that was logical, guy Jim. Good job there. Yeah. It, it, see, I mean, this kind of stuff, it just makes me laugh because it just looks terrible. Um. Yeah, as normal, really. I mean, that one, for example, you have to get Wigman or on on hand, so that basically means that you don't get kills, and you have to go for assists in order to get those rewards. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just a, a joke. It really is. It's it's a joke putting in stupid things like that because um, you're not guaranteed to get that in any game, really. Most of the time, I get those things when I get those things. It's completely random. Is the reward system, or you know, when you get your uh, in-game uh, rewards for whatever you're doing in the game, um, is yeah, generally broken. Um, you know, you'll have a game where you'll shoot someone down, or you'll get hits on someone literally 20 seconds before someone else shoots him down, and you don't get anything for it, not even assist. I've seen that happen several times, and yet you know, they put in rewards where, <laughs> where these bet things where it relies on um, that little function, basically, the the the, the ability of getting an assist, and um, yeah, it's broken. So it's just a waste of time, basically, and uh, that's the reason why I've not activated them. I did actually activate one um, quite some time ago, but I've not done so since because I didn't really like the idea of them um, and the way that they perform is just terrible. Like I say, it's random when you, whether or not you get given the awards anyway. And um, even if, 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 you, if you don't actually get given the awards, there's nothing you can do about it. You could take it as many screenshots as you want. You could probably even post a video on More Thunder Live. Um, uh, but they would probably delete that because it would be highlighting a bug. Um, so yeah, you know, it's the way that they work. Anything that is negative towards their game, they will remove. Quite happily. Alright, anyway, on to the next little bit, shall we? Next little bit being the event. Now then, oh wow. Now I did actually mention yesterday that this was probably going to be a low tier crappy little thing. Um, it's not. I am actually quite surprised. And what's even more surprising is that it's Russians versus Americans. Korean War uh, style, i.e. 1955 onwards 
or thereabouts. And uh, yeah, let's just have a look, shall we, and see if it's balanced at all. Um, lots of T54s, no T44 there, no T3485 there. Both of, well, T3485 at least did fight in the Korean War. Um, yeah. Also, bizarrely, no jets. Yes. I'm going to figure that one out. And what else have we got here? Yeah, for some reason, the Russians get the two premium aircraft. One of which is one of the American aircraft. Yeah, that's ironic. Um, and they don't get any premium tanks, which is kind of weird. And you look at the Americans, they get premium tanks. And they get a premium, well, premium aircraft, because that other oh, A26 there, that's a premium one as well. I've got that, that is a premium. And they also get B25. What? Where's the balance? What? Why? What? As far as I know, the B25 wasn't in the Korean War. I could be mistaken with that, but, you know. This... What have they done? Again, I'm left scratching my head as to how they've come, come up with this um, balancing. Or lack of. Uh, I think the guy who's do, who, who does these has been on the vodka a, bit, a little bit too much again. Right, in simulator battle, we have... I'm just counting so I can double check. So we've got 16 vehicles on the uh, American side. So let's double count that or recheck it. Yeah, they've dropped vehicles out of there. There's no B25 in there for a start. No H26s either. No TU2s for the uh, Russians. Uh, again, why is that? Why have you removed the bombers from the simulator battle? Is it too easy to bomb people? If it is, then perhaps you maybe uh, should look at re remodeling the uh, the way you can do similar battles in this little these little events. Um, as you can see, I don't have any of these vehicles, so yeah, I won't be testing this thing out, which I don't particularly mind to be honest, because uh, yeah. With the current uh, kind of mess in uh, ground vehicles combat or ground forces combat, I'm just not really interested in doing them anymore. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do is do a couple of games in the CL13 for the lols and just to research the final bits of that. Probably take me about five games to get that sorted out, and then I'm done. No more German aircraft to. Re uh, research and just one more Russian aircraft to research. Let's see what we get, shall we?